nice work, nice pickup. You were fucking right there. Looked over and you were fucking right there. I, was, I, I had no excuse to be scared. I was like, my boy's here. What's to be scared about? Hey, I was don't fucking. We just flew an airplane. We just flew an airplane. Elliot flew an airplane, and I flew a different airplane. We flew two airplanes. We just flew two airplanes. Uh, this is a program we've been working on for what? Six months. Six months, something like that. This particular trip started on Saturday night. I left Gid and, and the girl and uh, drove up to Visalia. We uh, spent that evening uh, swinging the gear. Uh, when I got there, Rod had the airplane already up on jacks, and we spent maybe a half hour, 40 minutes diagnosing a couple uh, micro switch issues. Came in early Sunday morning, and the first step was just a high power engine run. Rod had had the uh, uh, prop governor off. He... Sort of a good last check for Justin and I. Just wail on the motor a little bit. Just make sure that anything that's going to happen happens while the airplane's on the ground. That engine run went well, so we did a wide open run for two and a half minutes. Uh, system could cool and we didn't have any weird prop stuff. So we're ready for the low speed taxi. The only thing that's left is fix the canopy before we fly. You got it. Is it my fault? Brakes are good. Uh, brakes are weak, but I think they'll do. Well, no big leaks, etc. Push the airplane back in the barn and just sat and thought. So Justin, Rod, Bo, uh, Jason, myself sat down and just went through, made sure the whole thing made sense. At this point, you know, more and more people are starting to show up at the airport, and with that comes the pressure. With an airplane like that, where Rod has spent 20 years building the airplane, means there's a lot of people in the local area that are vested in its success. So as soon as word got out that we were planning to fly Sunday, the people came with it. So. Glitter radio check, here I come. Two's up. Uh, so then, we step to the airplane for the flight. Go ahead. Uh, they about two minutes for a while. All right, well, sounds good. You ready? We're ready. And by the other traffic, Sparkle 1 is going to be uh, taking runway 30, will be left closed traffic, picking up a uh, terminal first flight for the uh, uh, left 30 pattern, so we'll be about two minutes on the runway as by the other traffic. Radio check. Loud and clear. If I tell you traffic, Glitter 1 is taking runway 30. 30 seconds. Good. Airspeed alive. 60 knots. Holy cow. Off the ground. Well, it's heavy. Three axis control. So it was Good. heavy laterally until that jam broke loose. All of a sudden, I had lateral control. Ed, yeah, did you see it? started the climb, everything looked good. We do an offset approach where you actually take off and then turn the airplane breeze, which effectively lengthens the length of the runway, and then sets you up real nice for that dead man turn in the event that the engine does fail. Now, that's when I noticed some resistance in the ailerons. It surprised me, the lateral stability appeared to be much higher than I expected, and then, boom, the uh, aileron uh, forces changed. So it turned out that just a little piece of the, the uh, skin coming down off the top skin of the wing uh, was actually impacting the aileron. Oh, we found that once we got on the ground. But at the time, you know, it's uh, force, 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 boom, big change in force, and then we have free ailerons again. I got a low voltage light. There's Rod in the white hat. Uh, crosswind turn, selected gear up. The hydraulic pump is running, which means the alternator is taking a lot of load. We got a low voltage light, which drew my attention down to the cockpit where I noticed that the uh, RPM had ran away. Propeller governor issue of some kind. Anyway, we had over the motor by about 1500 RPM, sometime between braking ground and uh, that uh, control jam. I think we might have a governor problem. Gotcha. Peak RPM was uh, just about 6000. 
Uh, so now I'm halfway down the crosswind leg uh, with an over rev motor and gear up. First question for me was can I pull enough power off the airplane to get below redline RPM without getting below the minimum power required to hold altitude because we're sort of in a nasty spot on the airport. Back to 45 now, only at 20 inches. I've got uh, all eight EGT alarms. So coming up on downwind to beam, recognized that uh, we were committed to the landing and I didn't want to put the drag of the gear on the airplane any, any sooner than I had to. So you're sort of up against this, uh, this decision point where on one hand, if you select gear down and it takes too long for the gear to get down so you can't be positive you have three greens before you touch down, that's a risk. And on the other side, if you throw the gear out too soon, you're dealing with the drag of that dr uh, gear longer, which means that you're effectively you know, lowering your chances of making it back to the runway. I think we're done for the day. Copy. This is going to be a flaps up approach. I tell you traffic. Greater one, down with the beam. 3 0, gear still up. Gear's coming down. Gear's coming. I got three greens. That seems pretty good. Oh, that's obviously. That's 10 feet. Hopefully it was the plan. It seems kind of early to me. Five feet. Two feet. One foot. Contact. Looks good. Two's going around. That's too fast. And by sail traffic, one three one runway off. This is midfield left down one three zero. Will be a full stop. If I say. So. It's the first flight, congratulations. <laughs> congratulations, Ron. Oh, <laughs> oh, it's in the refrigerator. <laughs> congratulations, sir. <laughs> Freaking fantastic weekend. You did a nice landing. Thanks, man. Chase performed flawlessly, that's this guy. Nailed it. Got it back on the ground. When I got into EAA, uh, it was just for guys like that, for projects like that, right? A guy uh, blasting his hangar on a freaking most awesome thing you can think of. Very inspiring. And uh, uh, an exciting day. For all of us, including Rod. So, congratulations to Rod. Uh, you have a fantastic airplane. A couple little bugs we're going to work out, but uh, it should be good. Airplanes are cool.